Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to another week of uh, a CUBERT meeting where this is your chance to meet and talk with CUBERT core developers and uh, community members. I'm your host, Chris Caligari, and I have copied and pasted the, the link to our meeting notes in the chat. So if you could please fill in your attendance, I appreciate that. And let me share my screen. Okay. Screen is shared. Okay. All right, Sam, uh, you wanted to talk about all things open. Uh, here's your topic right here. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, so just real quick, um, I made uh, some good test scenarios up and I got a set of documentation up ready for that. Um, the idea would be to use WireGuard as the joining, as we talked about, um, but instead of using a CNI to handle that, we just set up WireGuard on the individual nodes to go from there, or based on a user's existing setup, they can go about configurizing, oh, sorry, configuring um, their router to do so. Uh, and joining on network. I can put the link to the documentation one over here. And um, as a quick overview, so, um, you would just have, as far as your typical home network setup, you have the router with the public IP in the front uh, and you have one Kubernetes node that's uh, dedicated to handling all the other traffic that handles in, depending on if you have more than one node that you wanna join in on this volunteer cluster um, and port forwarding going between the two. Um, and from there, uh, I made a spreadsheet so that everyone gets a uh, CIDR. So for instance, uh, I would have 10, 100 as a 24, another one would have uh, 10, 101 slash 24, and, and it would kind of work out from there. Um, and I'm, I'm ready to test if anyone else is. I've got my setup uh, appearing between my house and a friend's house. Um, so it's all kind of in working order and everything is routable. So if we can start kind of collaborating on that. Uh, I can share the sheet, which I actually already shared in the uh, Kubernetes Slack and go from there. Um, so I guess the call to action for this would be, can we get everyone to kind of, anyone who wants to participate to join in the spreadsheet, fill out their name next to like a, an available slider, and then I'll kind of reach out to you or we can go about um, kind of collaborating on a secondary meeting to set our network up and then proceed on getting our nodes ready at a later date. That sounds awesome, Sam. Thanks for all that work. You're saving our butts. No worries. <laughs> um, uh, I unfortunately have had a death in my family and I have to emergency uh, fly my family out to Pennsylvania uh, tomorrow. Uh, go ahead and fill in a slot for me and uh, I'll catch up with you guys uh, on Wednesday next week. Okay. Yeah, and that sounds good. And, um, you know, definitely sorry for your loss there. Um, so yeah, then thank you. what would you propose as another meet day? I, I was going to propose like right after this, but I, you know, that's obviously not a good time for everyone. So, yeah, um, well, I, you think I know Stu is online. So, uh, you know, Stu got, he's part of the super thread. Okay. Yeah, ping um, him. He's uh he's number two person on this demo. Okay. I will see if I can reach out to him. I'll send him a DM later today. Um, but if anyone else here wants to join, I'll link to the spreadsheet. Uh you'll just you know get a request to approve to edit, or you can already suggest edit and then fill out your name and go from there. And I'll like I said, like you said, I'll fill out a name for you, Chris. Um and we'll all be set to have a multi-regional cluster going, which will be awesome. I'm actually interested to see like how much we can push the thing, including like, you know, even live migrations, for example. Yeah. Sounds great. That's all I had. Okay. Um, and this is uh, just a quick notice about KubeCon NA office hours. Um, I volunteered David to help me out with this one. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know that we had to switch to date time uh, at the request of another project. 
Uh, I think we were scheduled for Wednesday and now we're scheduled for Thursday. Um, so no big deal. And that is all I have for events. Um, if anybody uh, finds an event that they feel like uh, Cooper should be attending, um, please feel free to let me know or uh, email the, the mailing list and uh, I'll do my best to support you. Or find volunteers, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, that's all I have. Um, Fabian was supposed to be here today to talk about um, project governance. I'm not sure where he ended up. David, do you have anything? Uh, no, it's probably best, especially for the governance thing that we we have that talk when more people are here. Yeah, yeah a lot of people definitely. are out uh, in Israel this week. So mm. just the way it goes. Oh, it's, it's a holiday, is it not? It is, it's a shutdown. Yeah. And I'm trying to remember with my calendar. I'm not sure how long it lasts. Let me look. Might impact next week as well. Uh, it, I think it will. Um, yep. Yeah, so it might be two weeks before we have this conversation, but we'll see. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I know uh, we have some good news. Um, we picked up our second sponsor, um, Ricardo Alvarez. I think his name is. Um, it was not Jim as uh, from VMware as expected. So, and uh, we're also gonna have some more updates to our due diligence documents. Um, so we are proceeding along. Excellent. Do you have any sort of gut feeling on uh, when, I guess, do you think we'd hit incubation this year? Do you think that's feasible? I think so. I think, okay. I think that's fe definitely feasible. Excellent. All right, sounds great. You think Thanks we'll hit 1.0 this year? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's um, that's part of the discussion. So we, uh, I was talking to Fabian about this, and I think we are at one oh, probably now. Uh, if I look at the list and everything, maybe there's a few items that um, aren't. But everything's been worked on, at least. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's actually hit um, out of alpha to beta to to GA or not, it's the question. But we, we've technically hit uh, all of our items, I believe. Um, we were waiting for incubation because mm -hmm. there's a certain amount of um, push that we get behind the CNCF. Like they'll do some marketing and things like that for us. Mm -hmm. And it would be, you know, kind of cool to, to hit 1.0 once we've hit that stage and we kind of get their push behind us as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's what we're waiting on at, at this point. There's also some discussions uh, for 1.0 that have less to do with the technical side. And I think more to do with our release management and supportability of releases going forward, and like predictability of our, our release um, uh, maintenance. Uh, so that's probably something that could be shored up as well um, before we hit 1.0. Maybe that's something I'll give some thought to the next few weeks. It's a little tricky because companies like um, ours, so Red Hat, a lot of people, I think most people on this call are at Red Hat, mm -hmm. uh, have built certain processes internally around the expectations of uh, what Kubevert does upstream. So we'll have mm -hmm. to make those considerations when we're making these guides for how we want to um, do our upstream release cadence and, and um, I guess, maintenance of releases, how long we'll actually maintain a release before it drops off uh, and still allow the flexibility for uh, companies like Red Hat and Suse and, and even NVIDIA who are using older branches to, to give them the option to continue to maintain things outside of that supportability range uh, that we guarantee in the upstream project. So it's a little tricky to work through. Mm. Oh, could you imagine a, a project like the Linux kernel that doesn't do things uh, the GitHub way? 
Yeah. I can't imagine the, the beast that process is. Well, they've been doing it for a long time. So yeah, they yeah. must have not to say it can't be improved. Mm-hmm. Okay, well let, let me know if you need anything from me regarding um, getting that stuff documented or tied together. All right, thanks. But that's that's it from my side. I didn't have any topics or anything. Yeah, um, I guess I can add another topic. Um, we're going. The community is going through the uh, the respectful branch name process. Um, I sent an email late in the day yesterday um, regarding the smaller repos. Uh, I think it was Kubvert tutorial, Kub Katakota scenarios and demo um, got adjusted from master to main. Uh, we're gonna do, I was gonna do user guide and, uh, and website uh, today or tomorrow, but um, I'm gonna be out, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna drop a, a big change and then um, step away from the project for a couple of days <laughs> while everyone else deals with the fallout. So uh, I'm thinking late next week for, for those other changes. Sounds good. Um, real, real quick, going back to the all things open scenario, was, has it been determined that anyone is going to be actually physically present? Because as it turns out, I'm actually I was actually able to get off for two weeks, you know, because my, my birthday's coming up on the tenth. But I'll have like for next week, overlapping between the all things open event. So, did you all want like someone to be present if no one was present, or is there a group I can join that's going to be there? Oh boy, um, that's interesting. Um, Sam, uh, Stu and I have been uh, going back and forth with uh, the ATO planners regarding uh, the presentation being in person versus uh, virtual. Um, we're both, I can't, I'm, now I'm flying across the country, uh, but we're, we both are, weren't comfortable for um, actually attending physically and doing a, a physical presentation. Uh, let's talk about that and see what we can do. If you really want to be there in person to, uh, to do the presentation, um, we can shift gears that direction. Uh, but the plan was to do it virtual. Uh, and the, of course, uh, the numbers around Raleigh, Raleigh is a hot spot in the country right now. You may not want to go to that area. And, they, uh, they're still doing it as a hybrid event. I got you. Okay, yeah, no, I, I was just wondering if there were, if you were, or if anyone here already had plans to go to the uh, Raleigh event. If no one's actually physically going and keeping up virtual, I'm comfortable with that too. I'll just okay. attend like wherever I'm heading. Um, so I'm trying to like, you know, do something from a road together than be in Virginia Beach. <laughs> mm -hmm. But understood, that sounds cool. Uh, maybe next year. Yeah, no kidding. It's uh, it's unfortunate. All Things Open is my favorite uh, conference. It's it's so fun and um, it's just not a hoity-toity event at all. They do a lot of uh, just on-hand stuff. Yeah, it would be one of my first events too. I definitely want to check out one sooner than later. But COVID, you know. Mm -hmm. Let me just fill in this bullet point real quick. too early in the morning, I can't remember the third one now. Okay. 
what's next to talk about. I have nothing. <laughs> Anybody else? Nothing for me. Nope. I think we can call it an early meeting. I agree. Um, I went through the mailing list and saw everything has been covered. Uh, no one has any pull requests to talk about. We're going to skip bug scrub. And I think that will do it for this week. Well, thank you everyone for attending. And uh, I'll close out the meeting now and see you next week. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh,